Welcome. In this video, we will take a look at finding the equation of the tangent line at a given point on a function. Here we have a g of x function, and we'd like to find the equation of its tangent line at the point x equals 2. So let's begin by finding the functional value at this point x equals 2. If I take the functional value g of 2, I can calculate this as 2 to the fourth power minus 2 times 2 to the third plus 10. And if we look at this closely, we really have 2 to the fourth minus another 2 to the fourth power, since 2 times th 2 to the third is again 2 to the fourth. So when we calculate this, this will be just that constant term will come out. This is just going to be a 10. So we're working with the point 2 comma 10. To find the equation of the tangent line, we first need to find the tangent line slope. So the next thing we might want to look for is g prime of x and then evaluate that at 2. So the derivative of our g function is 4x cubed minus 2 times 3 is going to get 6x squared, and then the constant will be a 0. Now we can evaluate this at the value x equals 2. And when we do so, we'll have 4 times 2 cubed, and then minus 6 times 2 squared. We can simplify this expression. This will be 4 times 2 times 2 to the eight, uh, third power here is 8, and then minus 6 times 4. Or we could write that as 32 minus 24, which gives us a slope of 8. So g prime of 2 is equal to 8, which is our tangent slope. So that's going to be the slope of our line. So let's put it together here. We'll start with maybe a point slope form, and then we can take it to the uh, y equals mx plus b, or slope intercept form. So notice that we have a slope of 8, and our point was 2 comma 10. So we can rewrite our equation as y minus y1 is 10 equals the slope of 8 times x minus x1. So this would be our point slope form of the tangent line. And then we can rearrange this 8x minus 16 and then add 10 on both sides to get y is equal to 8x minus 6, which will be the equation of the tangent line at x equals 2. So thanks for watching this video. Hope this is helpful with finding the equation of a tangent line at a given point. We want to find its functional value at that point and then find its derivative at that point, which gives us our tangent line slope. When we put those two things together, we'll, we're able to write that equation of the tangent line either as a point slope form, or we could write it with slope intercept form. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.